Hello everyone and a very warm welcome. In today's tutorial, we'll see how you can extract text from image-based documents using Power Automate. So before we get into the actual demo, let's look at our use case. So we have a few documents which we need to extract text from. These documents are image-based. That means when I try to search for a word, for example, how word, it's not visible. I want to extract the inventor of this particular patent request and update it into a column in SharePoint. So this is how our SharePoint document library will look like. As I told you, I want to update the inventor text. So what I'll do, I'll go ahead and create a column and I'll name it inventor. We'll keep it multi-line of text just in case there's a long address or if there's a long name in there. Next, what I want to do is the source and the destination is the same. In that case, this can result in an infinite loop. So I need to manage the infinite loop. To do that, I'm going to create a choice column. So I'll create an yes, no column. And I will say OCR and I'll set it to no. So this is how our document library structure will look like. The document library will have two columns that, are, that we created, inventor and OCR. OCR is an yes, no column, and the default value of the, of the OCR column is set to no. So that being said, let's get, go into our Power Automate. So let's start building our flow. So I'll click on automated flow. I'll click on skip. So first things first, we want to select a trigger. So our source is SharePoint. So I'll type in file and I'll select when a file is created or modified properties only. I'll select the site and I'll select the document library. Now that I have the site and the document library in the trigger, before adding a new action, I will configure the trigger condition. So our trigger condition will look like this. Okay, so what does it do? Let me actually type in this correctly. So we have a column that is OCR. Whenever the flow triggers and if it finds the OCR column set to false, only then it will go ahead or it will go to the next step. Only then it will go to the next step. Now that we have the trigger condition, now let's get the file content. So I will say SharePoint again and I'll get file content. Here I can pass it the identifier, which is the output of the trigger. Now this is where the real magic happens because this is where we are going to extract the text. So I'll select the Mohembi action and I'll type in extract text using OCR. What I need to pass it, I need to pass it the file name so it will come out of the trigger file name with extension. The file content will be the file content, which is the output of the get file content. Now here, my friends, you, you see that I need to pass in X, Y coordinate and also the width and the height. So let's try to extract the data from our PDF document. To do that, we can use the PSPDF kit measurement tool. So I'll just quickly use the demo. And I'll type in measurements. And here I can go and upload my document. Perfect, right? So let's start with the X coordinate. So distance. So it's approximately 1.73. So if I open my calculator, I'll do 1.73 into 72, which is approximately 125. So next comes the Y coordinate. Again, I will use the measurement tool and I'll try to draw a line. So the approximate will be 1.80. So again, open my calculator, 1.80 into 72, which comes to approximately 130. Now let me try to find the width and the height. So let's start with the width. Width is approximately two inches. I don't need a calculator to measure that. 2 into 72, it's 144. And then I'll try to measure the height. Oops, that's the wrong one. We delete this annotation. 
and let me try to draw a line okay this looks good so it's approximately 0 0.7 so 0 0.7 into 72 which comes to approximately 50 right so we have the measurements now we need to add these measurements in our power automate so x was 125 y was 130 the width was 144 we did not use a calculator because it was 2 and then the height was 50 and i want to extract the text only from page number one right it has six pages but i just want to use page number one now that being said next i need to update the properties so update file properties let's do this I'll pass it the ID, which is the output of the trigger. And let me put in the title in place of title. The inventor will be the out text. And here I'll set this to yes. And I can set the description to description. Perfect. So our flow is ready. So it's time to test our flow. Here it tells me that it's it can trigger an infinite loop, but we have already sorted that out by putting a trigger condition so i'm going to upload a file and let's see how does it work so sample three so the file has been uploaded and my flow is running so it's trying to extract the text and the text has been extracted and if you see out here it seems that it has extracted the correct text so it starts with the name Howard and it ends with one zero Two, three. And if I go back into my SharePoint, you see my friends, it has been updated. So that being said, your flow has completed successfully and we have also managed the trigger condition. Thank you.